I followed my dreams and opened an antique store to have adventures and spend time as a family. Sometimes you have to climb a mountain and open some new doors to find the treasures inside. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. All right, Steven, you ready? Yes. So on today's adventure, we are up to something fun. My son Steven and I are headed to Saskatchewan, right near the Manitoba border. We were invited out by a family to um, potentially purchase the entire contents of their father's antique store. The antique store has been shut down for many years and nobody's had access to it until this week. So we are gonna head inside the shop, see if we can buy pretty much everything, which means we're gonna need a bigger vehicle than little Volkswagen van here. So we're gonna have to pick up a rental uh, cube van this morning and that's what we're gonna take on the road. Let's head it. So just a few more minutes and Enterprise here will be open. We're gonna pick up our cube van, which is probably one of those ones back there, and then head on the highway. Well, we got the truck. Um, good thing I double checked the paperwork, and you always want to do that when you get a rental vehicle because uh, they had it down at 20 cents a kilometer, and what I needed was unlimited because this is a pretty long trip, and I wouldn't want, want to be paying 20 cents a kilometer for what's gonna end up being about 2,000 kilometers. That would have killed the whole adventure here. So we're gonna load up and get out of here. Time to stretch our legs, get some gas, and uh, head back on the road. Gas station snacks, yum. So we'll put a little music on, see what's on. Country music. Um, Talk radio. Looks like they're getting some new lines on the highway. Overall, the ride's not too bad, but they definitely need to work on the soundproofing. big burger. Yes it is. While we're eating lunch I decided to look up an old friend who's got a barn full of cool stuff so we're gonna go check that out. Well I think we're gonna have to ask about a few of the things in here because this is pretty cool already. It looks like an industrial sewing machine. Not that I'd really want to take that home with me but I think or oh no it's a drill. It's a belt drive drill press. Kinds of stuff. Never know what's inside an old barn. This is kind of cool. This is uh, Saskatchewan Transit, and that's a porcelain bus stop sign, really early one. It's a cool piece. Old phone, wall phone. Lots of neat stuff. And now we're gonna see what's inside the old barn here. See what's inside it for goodies. Okay, you gotta come look in barn number two. There's lots of old door frames and trunks. Cream separator. This is a McCormick Deering. Not in too bad a shape. That'd probably shine up all right. They're really heavy to move though. Do you remember dad had one of those at the shop when we first opened? No, I don't remember that. That was a while ago. Some pressed steel toys over there, some old Tonkas. Okay, let's go have a look upstairs. See what's up there. That's mm -hmm. yeah, musty. Oh, okay. See, that's what I was looking at. Yeah, don't step on any mouse traps. Oh, look, there's a Millennium Falcon still in the box here. Sadly, the Millennium Falcon wasn't for sale, but we did get a few things and we had to load up and head back on the highway. And this highway looks like a patchwork quilt has been repaired so many times. We are 
at our destination town. I am going to pull in. I have to try to remember where this place is. It's been a couple years since I've been here. Um, but we're not meeting here until tomorrow morning. So really, I'm just going to peek through the windows and kind of see um, what this place is like because it's been a while. So uh, excited. I think I spot the place now. So Mr. Sleepyhead over there has woken up just in the nick of time because we are here. That's the place behind me that uh, I looked at two years ago and uh, tracked down the owners and it wasn't very easy. I actually went to the diner, which you can see behind me there. That diner back there uh, met a nice uh, elderly lady who knew who the descendants of the owner of this place were and tracked them down and now here I am two years later to uh, see about buying whatever's inside and this will definitely be a surprise because all I ever did was look in the window, which is what I'm gonna do right now. So from the window, this is kind of what I saw. Um, some old general store counters, shelves full of stuff, some old cans. You know, um, hard to really say what's in there from, from this angle. But uh, apparently there's a bunch of stuff at the house too, so I'm going to peek in. This building is actually a lot bigger than it looks like from the road. There's an addition built on the back. And there's also uh, some outbuildings back here too. So the goal is, I don't know, get if, yeah, get, the boy is smart. He says, get good stuff. If I can't, I'll, I mean, I'll have to fit whatever I can inside the van, but. Well, I'm definitely gonna have my work cut out for me with this place. Um, Hopefully the stuff on the inside is a little bit better than it is on the out. I can already tell there's lots of good cabinetry and I'm sure there's going to be treasures inside. We'll have to wait till tomorrow to see. Hey Steven, should we bring mom some flowers home from our trip? Ah, that ought to do the trick nicely. <laughs> Maybe a little overkill, but I like your thinking. The nice thing about getting to a place early is that you can have a chance to look around and be a bit of a tourist. There's lots of great sights to see in this part of Saskatchewan and I'm glad that I got to see them with my son. But I'm going to have to head to bed and I'm going to have a tough time sleeping knowing that this place is full of antiques and just waiting for me. So it is the next morning, beautiful morning, and uh, today's the big day. We have to uh, go to this place and begin the loadout process. Now I don't know right now whether I've made a huge mistake coming out here. Um, I've never offered to buy the entire contents of a building site unseen, but um, yeah, hopefully we're gonna see some cool stuff today and Hopefully it won't be a waste of my time either way. It's an adventure and It's always a good time to spend with my kids. So well, thankfully I'm not doing much more driving today Look at what I had to pay for gas 193 bucks to fill this thing up Ugh. Well, hopefully it's all worth it Okay, Steven, I defy you to find one single cloud in the whole sky right now. Have a look. Find one. <laughs> there's not, when they say there's not a cloud in the sky, literally there's not a cloud in the sky today. You couldn't ask for better weather. What once was a clawfoot tub, part of an old rocking chair, and a couple of really big 7-Up signs, which will probably be worth bringing back. Now I'm guessing this is their junk pile, but there is still a porcelain sign sitting here too. So we're gonna have to go through everything just to make sure we don't miss anything. So this is insane. This place has been closed down for 10 years and there's still stuff. Like look at this. That's a beach bomb, side loading beach bomb. Some red lines, Pez dispensers, guns. Hockey cards, oil and gas. This place has pretty much a good majority of things that I like for the shop. This weird axe. Yeah, an old axe. So there's everything in here from flapper dresses to guitars, lots of glassware, furniture, old toys, airplane ashtray. Place is really well stocked, and yeah, it's gonna be a lot more work than I expected. But we're gonna have a look in the upstairs and see what there is to see up there. Nice little weather vane. It's huge. Nice desk. Okay, uh, maybe let Dad go up here first because it doesn't look. It says watch your step, 
but the roof is falling in. See, it's the problem that this place has been shut down for 10 years. Hey, maybe uh, don't come up, ghetto. All right. Because I don't know how safe it is. Okay, there's some old oil cans and stuff. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to have a look around. It's actually, it's full up here too. Oh, Texaco sign. Yeah, geez, there's good stuff everywhere. Like that's porcelain Texaco letters right there. So you gotta really dig around. And these boxes are full, but you can see the roof has actually fallen in on what was inventory, which is now probably garbage. And I'm also listening for hornets and stuff too, because you don't know when they've set a nest up. Okay. It's the grill off an old car. Car parts, wrenches, radiator shrouds, boxes of old toys. This place has definitely got some cool stuff. But it's going to take some work. And I'm being careful walking on this floor because it could literally give way if I'm not delicate here. It's just amazing that nobody has broken in in all these years and, and looted this place, honestly. I'm just sitting here. Antique. Looks like a wedding dress. Okay, we're gonna go back downstairs. So there's a lot of books up here, which won't be a huge loss. But there's other stuff too. Lufkin maintenance tools. Or some license plates, oil cans. Now I guarantee there's still some a few treasures kicking around that we haven't found yet. What's in the drawer? Adjustable razors. Bullets. Bullet shells. Okay, that means there's probably some vintage guns around here too. up to the ceiling in here with stuff. This is just one of the little rooms. Hey kiddo, so we're gonna have a look through some of these boxes too. Boxes. That's broken. I have to be careful because I get really bad allergies with must and mold and lots of books. I'm gonna head over to the other room. It looked promising. Okay, we're gonna have a look over this way. Just be very light on your feet up here. Okay, we're gonna dig through some of these boxes and see if there's anything worth saving in here. All sorts of stuff. Patches, pins, little tobacco tins. So it's gonna take a while to dig through a lot of this. Wait, Dad, can you repeat that? I accidentally covered up the lens. So okay. Medicinal stuff. You see Delco pin. Make sure I don't stick my hand in with a bunch of fishing hooks or something, too. It's 
some of these are newer, some of them are older. A pair of old cap guns. You know, razors. These these boxes are such uh, auto stop razors. There's trading cards and all sorts of other things. Just up in the attic right now, digging through some boxes, um, finding a few things. So just got to be careful not to uh, inhale too much. As you can see, the ceiling also not in the best shape up here. So we're being careful. Steven's just sticking on the stairs and helping me haul stuff down. That is a pretty cool old porcelain sign. There's just stuff piled everywhere. So we've really got to go through and make sure we don't miss anything. Enjoy a tasty tangelo treat. Mmm, scrumptious. Round the glass picture. Oh, these are, uh, it's an antique curved glass picture frame. Those are often broken. This is. tractor in the box. Hey kiddo, you can grab those two and put them away. So I have made an offer on the entire contents. So that's everything in the store, everything in all the little outbuildings here. They're just debating whether they're going to accept it. If they do, I have a lot of work ahead of me and it's going to be a big job to clear this stuff out and there's no way I can do it all in this one weekend. So I'm going to have to use all my resources to think about how to clear this stuff quickly and effectively. <sighs> and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of work. Honey, if you're watching at home, I love you. <laughs> you knew I was coming out here to do this. Uh, so don't be surprised if our garage gets pretty full of antiques before you know it. We did it. So now the work begins. I've got to load this one truck up. I need one probably three times the size for what I bought. So might have to make another trip out here. We're gonna load up as much as we can today and then deal with the rest later on. <sighs> So the goal is to start organizing some of these boxes first. We want to make sure we bring the very best stuff back with us this go around, and then we can make another trip for the rest of it or find a way to liquidate it later on. So we're going to start packing up some boxes. I got my helper with me and that's what's next. And you have to pay close attention to even what looks like little plastic stands. Cause look, this is an old Kodak Brownie camera display. So we're going to empty that out. And there are treasures all over the place. Like this old Dodge DeSoto license plate surround. Yeah, I've got my helper. What are you doing over there, Stephen? Getting all the little big books. Little, little big books? Yeah, I got all of them. Oh yeah, put them in a box. Yeah. Oh, good job. There's all kinds of stuff hidden, like this old Wallenese insurance calendar from wartime era. So there's gonna be a lot of digging and a lot of stuff to go through. It's way more than I expected, and a lot more than I can chew. But we're gonna t try and take a dent to the next day or two. Brass headlamps off the car. Nice matching set. Old wall phones, lots to pack still. So I'm digging out some Super Test oil cans, which are fairly rare. And I noticed that his tool bench is a porcelain sign. So I gotta clear all that off and get to that sign. It's a good piece. I'm just going through some of the boxes here. This appears to be, let's set the box down. A gold ring and let's see if it's say yeah it is stamped let's see if I can read it 18 karat that's a good chunk of gold sitting right there that's a really good find I bet there's other stuff like this in here too I'm gonna keep digging so as of right now I own all the stuff uh, all the outbuildings all the sheds it's way more than I can fit in the vehicle so I'm gonna have to um, either come back or uh, what I'm thinking of is maybe have a auction on site here and then just recoup whatever I can from the auction sale after I clear what I need. So have some decisions to make here, some tough ones, um, but still uh, sweating away. It's a lot of work. Oh, is there 
Victorian era shoes. Kind of creepy and kind of neat. Lots of old comic books. Should go through those. Books and car manuals and tractor manuals. More showcases. Boy, oh boy. So we've been at this pretty much all day um, and I've barely made a dent. Gotten a few big pieces out. There's still lots of stuff all around me to go through. Uh, it's gonna take a while to do it. So we're gonna load up uh, whatever we can, um, big furniture and then loading it up and um, yeah, see whatever else I can get in there. So lots of work left to do. Baseball cards. What'd you bring? Box? Perfect. So I am just going through to see what. I should bring back to the shop today and then what can stay and possibly become an auction item later. This is a clock out of a car that can come back. Uh, old photographs, those are cool, but I have to be somewhat selective. So I gotta go through and see what all is in here. Let me tell you, it's, uh, it's a lot of stuff. That's an oldie. Huh, okay. This is an early Coke bottle because it's flat sides. So that's probably like pre-1912, somewhere in there, before they came out with the uh, Coke bottle we know and love today. So I'm bring that back. And those are the newer style there. And I'm going through the junk drawer here, and there's this little scrap of paper, and I was about to throw it out, and I read it, and it said it's a little pearl. So it's kind of looking, there's a... Looks like a, a bead or pearl there, and then there's a freshwater pearl right there. So almost threw out a couple pearls. Really have to be careful when I go through these sorts of things because it looks like garbage, but there might be good stuff in there. Well, the van is completely full and there's still tons of great stuff all over the place. So I'm gonna have to really figure out what I'm gonna do next and come back next weekend. But for now, it's time to get in the vehicle get back to the city and unload all the stuff that I brought to the shop and hope that I can try and make a display out of it all. Lots of work ahead, but that's part of the game. Now that I have everything here in the city, I have to go unload it all. And that's the part I'm not really looking forward to because I have to make room at the shop for all the new stuff and uh, find a way to liquidate some of the others. So it's gonna be a big day today, but I gotta tear through it. And my store is definitely looking a little bit messy. I'm gonna try and build an island with the old cabinets here in the middle. So I've gotta clean all these, get them ready, and then start filling them with stock. So this morning is gonna be a busy morning. And I had this showcase tied together because I had to use some uh, persuasion to get it off the truck because the uh, glue had all come loose and it was pretty wobbly, but I sturdied it up now with some new carpenter's glue and just have to clean it off and uh, get it ready for product. Well that's all for today. I'm going to do a follow up video to show you some of the cool things that I did get on this find. There's still a whole store to unpack and I'm going back next weekend. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Check us out on Instagram and on Facebook as well. We'll see you all soon. Bye for now.